back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here for today's video. It is going to be a fun one. This video is kicking off my holiday decor content over on our YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be using my Cricut Explore Air 2 machine to create some really cute little place cards to go on our Thanksgiving tablescape. I wanted to just set all of my supplies out before I started this project. I found some really cute and inexpensive little round wood slices from Amazon. I've of course got my Cricut machine, my computer, and then just some of the tools and pieces that I'm going to be using for this project today. The first step is opening up my Cricut design space on my computer and connecting it to my Cricut machine. Then I'm just gonna create a new project. I'm gonna click on text and add a text box with the word that I'm gonna be using for this project. And then I just scrolled through to find a font that I liked. I wanted something just um, timeless. I thought cursive was perfect. So I selected the font I wanted and then I just resized this little text box to match the size that I want this to cut out. Um, and it'll just be centered on my little wooden slice. Next, I'm going to just position my text box how I want it. I like to pull it a little bit away from the edge just so that there's a little extra room. Once you hit make it, the Cricut will go ahead and start blinking with the arrows. You will push those and it will suck your paper in and then it will blink the letter C and you will press that so it can start cutting. Now I'm just peeling off the top layer so that I can expose the text. And once I've done this, then we're gonna go ahead and use our transfer tape and we are going to put that on the wooden slice. When you are removing this top layer, you do just wanna be really careful because um, these pieces, especially when you're working with like a font or a text that's really thin um, and fragile, if you will, you do want to be careful not to rip or pull any extra and stretch your letters out. Um, you can use the weeding tool if you want to. Uh, it's definitely helpful, especially when working with text like this. So here you can kind of see I ended up adding several of the thankful uh, little words here to my paper and had them all cut out at once just to save time and be efficient. Now I've got my transfer tape and I am just going to cut a little section of the tape. You do want to make sure that the transfer tape has some room on each of the sides when you are laying it down over your design. So uh, you want to have a kind of a border around it so that it's just easier to work with. And I love my little craft cutter from Cricut. It just makes cutting the vinyl and the transfer tape and any other materials that I'm using just super seamless and really simple. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put that transfer tape over top of my text. And I'm going to use this smoothing tool to make sure that uh, the Thankful letters are adhering to the transfer tape, so when I go to peel it up, the letters come with it. Sometimes you have to go back and do a little bit more of this. It really just depends, but thankfully this one came off nice and easy. So I grabbed my wood slice and I centered it over top the wood slice and I am just going to press those letters down so that they grab a hold of the wood and um, just stick on there really well. I think these turned out super cute. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I didn't think of it beforehand, but it may have been really cute to use like a gold um, vinyl. I think that would have been pretty too. All right, now it's time to start decorating our dining room table. These are the pieces that we are going to be using today to decorate my dining table for Thanksgiving. This is a very cozy, neutral Thanksgiving tablescape because as many of you know, we have not done any decorating in our new home yet. And I didn't want to go ahead and bring all of my fall decor out only to put it away in a week or two as we start preparing for all things Christmas with house and home. 
So I am bringing a tablescape idea to you today that you could leave out for a month or even longer because it really is neutral, it's beautiful. You could easily swap out the pumpkins with Christmas trees and call it a day. This is just a timeless ta tablescape that I think is going to turn out so beautifully. I grabbed some of these beautiful candle holders from our shop. They are currently out of stock, but we are ordering more and hopefully we'll have them back in the shop soon. And then I also am using some greenery that is from Hobby Lobby, which is what I have right now in my hand. And then the other stems that I just put down were from Target. I love the whimsical look that these offer. They are very easy to shape and move around. And I just felt like that free flowing look would be really pretty on my centerpiece. So I'm just going to be lighting this table up with all of the candles to create just a beautiful evening ambiance in this space. I did grab two beautiful stoneware pumpkin canisters from Target. These could be used as serveware, so I thought they would be great to place on my table. And they also make for super cute decor. The lids do come off, which is great. And then I grab just some tea light candles. I'm using the table runner from our shop. We did just restock this, so I'm hoping by the time this video goes live, we still have some available in the shop. And I also have a bunch of our uh, mango wood spoons as well as our mustard pot holders. These are great for adding dimension to a space, for really just creating that cozy feel with all sorts of texture. Again, mixing in the whites with the creams and the greens and the glass to just really give that inviting and welcoming feel. I am loving how this space is turning out and I feel like it just is exactly what I was hoping for. This beautiful reproductive pitcher is from our shop and those have recently been restocked as well. I just threw in a few mango wood spoons and I feel like that just warms them up and makes them super cute. We also just restocked our press glass creamer pitcher. It's got some beautiful floral detailing to it. It really is such an intricate piece and I thought that would be a great addition to my table as well. Now I'm bringing out some plates. I just layered two plates um, over top each other and then I put my absolute favorite napkins from our shop on there. They are just perfect for any season and any home. They are very, very neutral. And then I placed our new little rustic round wooden slices that we just did, um, our DIY with Cricut and I put those on top and I think that it just finishes it off. It ties in all of the wooden elements and just makes for a really beautiful, cozy table setting.
want to give just a little sneak peek and an update to our dining room. We still need to add curtains into this space and I'm looking for a specific piece of furniture that I haven't found yet. And then also the captain's chairs to the table have still not shipped. They've been delayed. So we have a little more work to do in here, but I wanted to give you just a little preview of what the space is going to look like. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it gave you some cozy, neutral Thanksgiving decorating ideas. I will link as many products from today's video in the video description down below. So make sure you go and check that out when you finish watching this one. I will also have all of Cricut's information linked down below as well. Make sure you check them out. If you do not have a machine yet, you are missing out. Add that to your Christmas list. It truly is so simple and easy to use and the possibilities of crafting are totally endless when you use it. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you next for a video that is giving you a sneak peek of our holiday collection, which is launching on our website on Monday, November 1st at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Bye friends. Thank you.